In a few years, the 8th generation will come to a close, and many gamers have been wondering about the next generation of consoles. Nintendo already has revolutionized the hybrid console with the release of Nintendo Switch last year. Microsoft claims to kill console generations after the release of the Xbox One X, while rumors had been spread that Sony's next console, possibly named the PlayStation 5, could provide better performance at 4K resolution compared to the Xbox One X. As consumers, we want the best features out of the next consoles, and I would like to present some major examples. Hi, I'm Rafi88, and this is my video on 5 features that 9th generation consoles must have. 1. Free online. If you don't have to pay to play online on the PC platform, then why are console gamers being forced to do it? This common anti-consumer business practice started by Microsoft with the original Xbox console came to life on the PS4 at launch. With the PS3, you didn't have to subscribe to PS Plus in order to play multiplayer games. And this was an advantage it had over its competitor, the Xbox 360. According to Zony, only a third of active users pay to play online on the PS4 with a PS Plus subscription. Xbox Live has had instabilities this generation, and Microsoft hasn't even revealed their numbers for Xbox Live Gold. But I don't think they're going to change their mind on this one yet. The Nintendo Switch's subscription service will be released this fall, and it has been criticized for only giving players classic Nintendo games each month. It is unclear if Nintendo will discontinue this as they have provided multiplayer gaming for free for a long time. 2. Backwards Compatibility This was well accomplished on the Xbox One. Xbox gamers were able to play Xbox 360 games with backwards compatibility on the Xbox One. And this is something PlayStation gamers may want on the PS5. Since the PS3 CPU was too complex to emulate, Sony tried to make up for this by publishing remastered games, and also by publishing PS Now, a cloud gaming service that lets you stream select PS3 games from their servers, but this was not well received. Some say that the service is too expensive, and others have said that their internet isn't capable enough to handle the streams. Let's hope this feature comes back on Zony's next PlayStation console. 3. Good Exclusive Games Exclusive games have been played a lot on PlayStation and Nintendo on this generation. Uncharted 4, Horizon Zero Dawn, Persona 5, Bloodborne, Nier Automata, and Until Dawn are all popular on the PS4. While the same goes for Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and ARMS on the Nintendo Switch. The Xbox One isn't doing very well with exclusive console games, since only Forza Motorsport and Gears of War can only be named as good enough titles to most games, and also with development being cancelled for certain exclusive games, such as Fable Legends. Also, many Xbox One games can be played on the PC platform. Microsoft needs to publish a bigger variety of great exclusive games for their next console if they want to step up their game here. 4. No mid-generation upgrades Some gamers and even developers complained about the power of the 8th generation consoles at launch, and that you can only spend a little more on a gaming PC for much better performance. The power-saving AMD Jaguar CPU in the Xbox One and the PS4 bottlenecks or limits the performance of their GPU, so their GPU will not be able to use 100% of its power on CPU intensive games, such as Destiny 2 and Grand Theft Auto 5, because the CPU is incapable of. CPUs use the same architecture found in the ones of PCs. The PS4 is like a 5 year old PC and it's holding games back, says the developer of Brothers A Tale of Two Sons. The Xbox One is being seen as more of an all-in-one entertainment device rather than a standalone gaming machine, since it was also marketed for media. Sony and Microsoft's clear answer was a PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, which specifically aimed for 4K gaming but at a cost compromises such as checkboard rendering and dynamic resolution. Some gamers have said that these consoles aren't needed, while others have said that they can help the industry go back to its shape. 
Although the, the sales numbers for these consoles aren't revealed yet, we can infer that they are still being outsold by their less powerful counterparts. It could be said that if mid-generation upgrades continue through the ninth generation, the consoles will start to resemble more as competitors to gaming PCs. If you want more power in gaming, then why not just buy a PC? 5. Cross-Platform Compatibility Gamers want to be able to play games with friends who have different consoles. Cross-platform compatibility solves this. Microsoft and Nintendo has allowed this great idea to work with Minecraft and Rocket League. And all players can cross-play together with PC, Mac, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox One. The PlayStation 4 isn't on that list because Sony's response was different. They blocked this feature on PlayStation because of how the PS4 was selling better compared to the other platforms. Even CD Projekt, the developer of the Witcher series, is against Sony for this. We could say if Sony did allow this, it could stop the so-called console wars being created by fanboys. Also, you wouldn't be forced to buy a PS4 to play with friends who have one if you use a different console. Microsoft is trying to make talks with Sony in order to persuade them to change their decision. Sony could face consequences if they continue to block this, as more cross-platform games could be developed in the future. Thank you guys for watching, be sure to subscribe for more content, and hit that like button. Ralphie88 is signing out.